We are in Microsoft Excel 2013. I'm going to show you how to add a signature line. So if you want to send a document or you want someone to sign the document digitally, then uh, this is how you can do it. So you can use a third party one, but we're going to use the one that's built into Excel 2013 itself. So let's go ahead and click on the insert tab, click on the signature line and choose Microsoft Office signature line. So we'll go ahead and put in the suggested name here. This is what's going to go underneath the line and the title and you can also put in uh, an email address if you'd like I'm not going to go ahead and do that and here's instructions on what the uh, the signer is going to read just before they sign it and you can also add the date in as well if you'd like so we now see a signature line that has shown up and if we want to have this person sign it first thing we have to do is to save it so let's go ahead and save the document okay it's now saved now to digitally sign it we double click the document and we'll go ahead and type in you can see that it says type your name below you can also put in a comment if you'd like purpose of signing the document put in contract and you can also include other information details about the person if you would like as well and we'll go ahead and click the sign button. Now you're going to get a message saying the exact thing that we saw earlier that we could have edited if we wanted to. It says the certificate you selected cannot be verified. That's because it's a self-signed certificate that comes with Office, but that's okay. Go ahead and click continue and then it has been successfully saved. And click OK. And now you can see my signature. This is an e-signed document uh, that it says it is recoverable if we need it to be. And it is uh, signed at the bottom.